In this presentation, we're going to look how we can use the Microsoft Excel Goal Seeking feature to help us with some complicated equations to work out various values. Here we have a very, very simple business plan idea. Um, I'm looking at a business and I'm trying to break even on this business after just three years of work. I've got various machine costs, rent on buildings and things. I've estimated the size of the market. I reckon I'll be able to take 4% of the market in the first year and then I'm kind of hoping to take an additional 7.5% of the market every year. So I've put all this into various equations down the bottom here to work out my first year I'm going to lose £115,000. Second year I'm going to lose £46,000 and the third year at the moment I'm going to start making money. So my three year profit point is £139,000 loss at the moment. Now what I need to know is how I can work with these figures, how I can change these figures to effectively make that a break-even point in three years. So some of these things I can't change but some of them I can. For example I could change my goal for the increase in market share each year. So if I change this you see it changes the overall value and I could keep knocking that up until I get to the number I want. Okay, It's very difficult to back calculate it because this number is affecting this number and this number and they're added together. And indeed I could change that number as well to start bringing them down. But what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the Excel Goal Seek feature to say if how what number needs to go in there to make that number zero. Okay, So I'm going to select that cell and I'm going to go data, I'm going to go tools, goal seek. And here I've got a very simple goal seek form that says set the cell F16, see it's got a highlighted there, that's the one I want to set. I want to set that value to zero. And I'll set that value to zero by changing the amount I need to increase each year. So if I do that, it will work it out for me. You can see it's put in there 12.2% is the answer. So we need to increase each year my market share by 12.2 percent. Well I kind of think that might be a bit difficult so I'm going to not accept that, I'm going to say cancel that and I'm going to say well in that case maybe I've got to improve my uh, situation in the first year. So let's just do it again and I'm going to go tools goal seek change that one to zero, my break even point by changing this time my initial market penetration. OK, so if I just changed my initial market penetration to 7%, just over 7% in the first year, then I'm going to be able to break even. OK, so you can see there with, uh, with goal seeking, it's a very, very quick way to enable you to play about with figures and or what-if scenarios as you go through.